This is the Market Anything Podcast with Tim Burt. Do you enjoy our budget-friendly introduction? Hello, Jennifer Conkey. Hi, Tim. How are you? I'm great. Thank you for being here. This is another MarketAnything.co podcast. And Jennifer, you're coming to us from where today? San Diego. San Diego. I'll spare you all the the uh, the, the jokes from uh, Anchorman. Oh, know. thank you. But but you know what? Those are, that's a funny movie. I love that movie. Oh, no doubt. Funny movie. Sure. But I'll spare you the San Diego stuff. <laughs> you are... You, you know, in my head, we talk about, you know, your brand and what is your brand and what do you do? And and I've always said that, you, you know, the quickest way to brand yourself like a new prisoner walking into jail for the first time, what are you in for? Oh, I blank. Okay, that's your brand. <laughs> that's a good one. I like it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, you're the guy who robbed a bank. So you're the bank robber or right. whatever, whatever it might be. In my head, you're the text queen. And, oh, thank you. <laughs> well, you're welcome. And one of the things when it comes to marketing, most business owners, when it, you talk about laying out their marketing plan, texting isn't even on the radar. And yet here you are in San Diego, absolutely crushing it with texting. Tell us how you got here, what you're doing. Give us the overview. Sure. So <clears throat> about in April, it was April of this year, I realized that we, my, my marketing business, I didn't know anything about it. Right. I didn't know anything about marketing at the time. And so I had this consulting business and we also do some real estate and I realized that we weren't really getting any traction. A lot of people were telling me, yeah, I just delete emails, you know, all the mail lists that we have for folks and we send out emails. A lot of them, they think, well, you're trying to sell me something. So I just usually don't even read it. I delete it. And I came across this gentleman who he automates everything. And he taught me about text magic. And he told me, if you just do this, cause you have your YouTube channel, and if at the end of every video you say, hey, if you're interested in this, text this number to, and then the text magic number. And I thought, well, that's interesting because everybody has their phone in their hand. Even when they're watching TV, if they happen to not be fast forwarding through because they have it on direct TV and they actually are stuck with a commercial, the first thing they do is pull out their phone. So that's a great idea. Let's try it. And I started trying it. So I would develop these keywords where if I wanted them to contact me and they were interested in it, they would text this keyword and I set it up in the text magic that if that keyword was, was received a video with my face saying, Hey, how are you on it would go to them and then give them an information on how to contact me, give them more information about whatever my video was at a more detailed level, more content on what they wanted. And then they would text in. And when they text in that video goes back to them. And then they also can have a link to my calendar if they want to have some, some time with me, but I usually will take over and get in there and start engaging in a conversation. So that way, if, if it's a cold market, I can now make contact and warm it up. So you, you started doing this with what form and in what niche? So I help people scale their businesses. So yeah. if they're, you know, they have a business that's brand new and they're just starting it up, I help them start it up. I help them develop their vision, strategy, track their entire idea, and come up with their plan on what that's gonna look like. If they have a current business. I come in and I assess the entire business, assess what their current vision and strategy is, and then help them scale that business so they can get more revenue. So that's pretty much what I do. It sounds and, like you do what I do, uh, just in a different, in a different light, in a different, okay. in a different approach. I and mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I'm, we're not in competition here. No. I mean, let's, uh, <laughs> no. let's, let's be, let's be honest here. But you started doing this for your own business, which I, I believe you said you had real estate. Is that right? I do. I have real estate. I don't use this one for the real estate world yet. Okay. I've been using it only for my lead hership business, which helps women in business if they own a business or if they're scaling their business. We are, we're primarily focused on helping women in business. We don't tell men no though. And we do have a few male clients and we even yeah. have male clients that sign up for our masterminds. So we don't say no to men, obviously, because I feel like they need help. They need help. But the women of the world that need some serious help and don't have anywhere to go, like we're their person. Gotcha. So we've been using it with the, <clears throat> with that business leadership. And so when I'm, I also do keynote speaking. So when I'm on the stage at the end of the, the end of the show, I don't really sell from the stage mostly because I don't like it. And when I'm in the crowd and I feel like I'm being sold and oh, for 50% off, if you act now, you can have this. I'm like, come on. So I try to do it differently. I try to give a free gift from the stage and it usually involves me telling them if you're interested in getting this gift, text this number because then I get their information. 
Yeah. And then I'll have something beforehand that I can give to them. That's, you know, a free content piece. And then it gives me an opportunity to contact them and get to know them instead of yeah. trying to sell them something for the first time. Yeah. And actually, you know, when you do free talks from the stage, if you ever do a free talk as opposed to a, a paid keynote spe- speech, and if you're watching this right now, or you're listening to this right now, and you ever get asked to go do a talk, I hope I'm not blowing my cover here, but okay. here's, here's a little tip for you. When they say, well, this is a free talk and we don't allow sales from the stage. Fine. That's totally fine. You know what I do to get people on my list? I give away a copy of my first book and just go to this website and it's a hidden page. I tell them it's, I deliberately tell them it's a hidden page. So you have to look for it. And so that way I know how many people in the audience actually went and then I can see, you know, estimate, okay, there were 70 people there, 28 of them got the book, but see with texting, you're, you're far more open with it uh, because you may, you, you just say, Hey, here's the thing. And if, and if somebody takes a screenshot of the, of the page, yeah. they say, oh, I can't text it right now. Or I don't want to do that right now. I'll do it when I get home. Okay, fine. They start flipping through their, their photos. They see text the word book to two, four, six, eight, ten, or whatever it might be. Yeah. And there's Jen with her thing or, you know, she, she sends the video and all that. This video thing, see there, so there's your little tip. This yeah. little video thing, Actually, let me re- recap. The tip is just because you're speaking on stage for free doesn't mean you can't get people on your list. That, exactly. Whatever yeah. way you want to do it. If it's if it's through a, a texting or email or whatever it might be. This video thing, now, did you figure this out on your own or did you kind of co-opt this from somebody? And it's okay if you stole it. <laughs> <laughs> I did not figure this out on my own. I paid $10,000 to learn this from my mentor. <laughs> so. ah. Good. Yeah. <clears throat> I hired a coach in April because I realized I wasn't gaining traction. And this is one of the things that he does that he taught us. And so I just took it to a different level. So for example, I do it. He, he taught me to do it with my videos that are on YouTube. And if I'm on the stage to do it that way, to still get information and get people's contact info, I took it to the next level. Cause I did that. And then once I started getting a following, I started my own Facebook group, which was It's not a secret group, but it is a closed group. And so what I do is I have a 21 day challenge. I pre-create these videos. I put them on my YouTube channel and I take the links and then I schedule out so that they will post and they will send from my textmagic.com phone number to the individuals that are part of the group that have come into the group. So it, it sends it out to them every morning. You can even design like what time you want to send. So I send it at 5 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So that way the folks that are on the East Coast still get it. Yeah. in a relatively early time frame. Yeah. So I took it to that next level. So I'm running a Facebook group where I'm sending out a daily assignment on these 21 day challenges that are already pre-recorded. And I'm sending them through my text magic account. And then on the Facebook page, I'm doing lives and responding to people. So it's not like I'm sitting there making a bunch of videos every single day. I'll do a live and just give them a little piece of content for three to five minutes, engage in some of the posts. So I'm only spending about an hour a day on the Facebook page itself engaging. And usually I have about 60, 60 plus people in the group. And usually about 10% right now might want to upsell to a different service. And so it's a pretty low conversion rate right now, but it's like, that's only the second month that we've done it. So I'm trying really hard to try different things, but I took his approach and implemented it in a different way. So some people are using chat bots and whatnot. So I'm, I'm just playing around with things right now. Yeah. Have you found one niche that works better with uh, than another? Uh, for instance, car dealers or plumbers or catering or, or do you have or are you focused on one niche? <clears throat> My niche is women and that's it. So I have a client that owns their own laundry folding service. I have another client that is focused on um, just building his own engineering business. And then I have another client who she does, um, uh, helps people with their LinkedIn pages. I have another client where she does SEO and does Google ads and all of the marketing research for people. So it's like, they're all over the place yeah. and it's just the business and what they're trying to do. It seems to be the common theme that they're all trying to transform their business or scale it to get a higher revenue. So I've, I've been using it and then I'm having them, I'm teaching them, them the system. And they're getting results from that. So they've all set up their own YouTube channels, started creating their videos for content. And some of them are thinking about doing their own thing. Oh, I have another one who's starting up her own CBD business. 
Um, it's, it's I was almost, just talking about CBD this morning where you're like yeah. CBD, CBD cupcakes and CBD, uh, what was the other thing? CBD candles and a, Yes. That's just taking over the world right now. Yeah, and that's what she's trying to do. So yeah, it's all and over the place. You, you actually, my my next question when you said and you actually touched on chat bots and videos and straight texting. Yeah, there's no. You probably figured it out. There's no one set formula for everybody. Everybody's business is different, and and not only is everybody's business different. Everybody in that audience, let's take the CBD person, for instance, the CBD person, when she sends out a text from your thing using your system, some people may not want text. Some people may want email. Some may want chat bots or just the video or whatever. That's where it's important for you to figure out what your audience wants. And you'll find out pretty quickly, I would imagine. Yeah. They'll, they'll let you know what they want. Absolutely. They will. We got um, 300 people enrolled by doing this, this textmagic.com just from um, three, it was three talks that I did. I ended up getting about 300 people on our list and only five of them have asked, Hey, please, opt, I want to opt out. I'm getting, I, I'm not into this anymore. Yeah, only three, five. 300, 300 people sign up yeah. and five opted out. Right. And so for me, yeah. it's also a mix of, I don't want to send them something every day. So what's the healthy mix of sending them something? Because <clears throat> when I'm from the stage and I'm showing them and I'm talking about whatever it is I'm talking about and I've enrolled them in something yeah. and now I want to give them content and give them value. But I have found that every day clearly is probably too much, just my own personal opinion. But if I send them something twice a week and it's sporadic enough, like it's on a Tuesday and a Saturday or something, if it's a video that, hey, I just have this new content, it'll literally be something really small. Hey, new content video on our YouTube channel. Check it out with the link there. And then they go. Have you, now here, here's something you may want to think about. And, and if you're watching or listening to this and you don't employ this, I, hell, I'm going to talk to Jen when we're done. I'm saying, all right, how can I use this? What do I got to do? <laughs> I'm not saying I'm going to be a client. You go. No, I'll give, it to you. <laughs> I'll give it to you for free, Tim. <laughs> no. Have you thought about, you know, that you talked about the 21 day challenge. I, I think that's great. What, I mean, that, cause that, there are some people that just need that kick in the ass to get going. Yeah. And they, maybe they've hit that wall and go, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to turn. What's next. They don't know where their next checks coming from. If they're out of clients or whatever, their last client just left them. Now what, you know, there's, yeah. there are probably some people watching or listening to this right now that are in that position. And you know what? That's okay. I'm not looking down on you, but what I'm saying is, have you thought about the 21 day challenge? Are you up front with these people when you say this is the 21 day challenge and you are going to get a text every oh. single day for 21? I mean, do you let them know that in advance? I absolutely do. I okay. do. I actually have a kickoff video before they even sign up. I explain to them, I go live before, before the challenge even starts. And I tag everybody that's already signed up. And I usually from the stage will explain what the 20 day challenge, 21 day challenge is. And what it is, is every day you're going to get an assignment from me. that's going to make you dig deep into finding out what's the root cause that's blocking you. What are your obstacles? How can you overcome them? How can you build a contingency plan? And how can you really just get unstuck? Right. And I tell them, you're going to get a, a, a daily text from me that comes in and it's either going to have a video spot with me and a link to a video to watch, or it's just going to be a quick reminder saying, Hey, don't forget this. But it's going to be a text every day for 21 days straight. Now, do, then, you, do you, let me just stop you right there for real quick. Because this, this, the, the, how do I build this is yeah. going crazy in my head right now. You, you pre-produce these, I would imagine. I do. Now, now, do you shoot them on your cell phone or do you do them in your office where you are right now with us? I do them on my office where I am right now. Okay. But I could shoot them from my cell phone. Okay. The only you, thing I do them from my office is just because it, I, I chunk it all out in one block of time and knock them all out. Perfect. And then, yeah. Okay. That was my next question. Yeah. And when you do, when you send those out, uh, now, are you putting these on YouTube? Are they on your site? Where do you host these? I host them on my YouTube channel. Okay. Mostly because I, you know, you, you want to try and get the watch time, right? You want to try and get your hours. And so by sending out this daily video to 60 people that are, it's a three, three to five minute video every day for 21 days, you know, 180 minutes are watched on your YouTube channel. That helps, that helps get the minutes up. So that was one of the reasons why I use that strategy to, to store it there. Um, and then while they're there, 
they click on other videos that are helpful for them. Oh. And then, yeah. And then, so I've had a couple of people already that'll say, hey, I saw your video on how to manage my time and that was really helpful. Can you give more content on the page about that and alive? And I'm, yes, absolutely. If that's what sure. you mean. Yes, I will. So that's why I do it that way. There's the two reasons. One, to increase my, my viewing time. And, and two, they have access to the next couple of videos that might pop up and help them. And then they get more curious. And then I can help them even better. And when you talk about the 21-day challenge, and I'm going to jump down in, in just a second. But one other thought on this 21-day challenge thing. If somebody is watching or listening to this right now and they're thinking, oh, my God, I would love to do this for my, my coaching clients or my business or a gym. I mean, yep. how, do you have any gym clients? I'm thinking this would be perfect for a gym. Oh, I do. My 21 day challenge is based on six areas of life. So it's like every, every assignment that I give out, it applies to any area of life. So the six areas of life that people work on are health and fitness, their business and career, like getting money or relationships. Let's just say they're going through issues with their relationships, might even be facing divorce or family and friend relationships. Those are different. It's a different type. And then spirituality, we do some of that. But we also, we put it all together so that the questions that we're asking are getting down to the root cause of whatever problem you're facing. But it applies to every area of life. So we do, we have people in there from the health and fitness world. I even have people who might be an expert panelist within that area of life that chime in and they identify who in the group is focused on health and fitness and who in the group is focused on business. And then they help you know, generate some content for them too. And it just, it brings us kind of all together to collaborate and help like synergize things together and help people move forward. It's really cool. You know what I just had a thought in my head? You probably saw me kind of like going nuts over here. I did. Think about this. Here's your, I'm going to give you a client. Okay. 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 Anybody watching, listen to this. If you are in the HVAC world, heating and air conditioning. Okay. Mm -hmm. One of the guys that I, one of my guys that I worked with for years, I made him a millionaire off of his commercials on radio. Okay. Literally okay. millionaire. Okay. One of the things he keeps stressing is before you buy a brand new uh, HVAC unit, okay, which are two, three, five, ten thousand dollars $10,000, depending on the size of your house. One of the things he always stressed was, and is, is you may not need a u new unit because you might have problems in your house. And he would say, the first thing I'm going to do is come around and look at your house. I'll guarantee you there are 21 things in your house that you can fix just simple little tweaks yep. that may save you from having to buy a new HVAC unit. If you got an HVAC guy, you know, Steve's heating and cooling or whatever, they're in San Diego and you got <laughs> You got, or it could be, this could be anywhere. Yeah. And you said, take my 21 day challenge. Every day I'm going to send you a text with a little tweak on something to look at in your house or your condo or apartment, whatever, your rental property. And I'll guarantee you, if you do these 21 things, your chances of having to buy a new HVAC unit absolutely plummet because you're sealing up your house. You're making your house more efficient. Yep. That's beautiful. And it's so true. Yeah. 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 There you go. And 21 days is more, it, it's something that people can consume easier. You know, it's not like it's going yeah. on for a long time. They're it's not the, it's not the one year, uh, massive transformational thing with a Sherpa and no, no, no. <laughs> with a Sherpa, exactly. No, no, this, but you see where this is going. I mean, you can, you can apply this in a number of areas. Mm -hmm. And now let's say somebody's watching this right now and they're thinking, Jen, I'm sold. I'm in. I want to do this 21 day challenge for my clients. How long does this take to set up, to shoot the videos, to get the, you use a program called text magic. Is that right? Yep. If you go to textmagic.com, you can sign up for this program. It costs $4 a month and then it's four cents a text. Okay. And, and it, it doesn't matter how many texts you just pay by the text. Yep. And okay. it doesn't matter how many people. Yeah, so you're literally, you're doing it. Um, you can group text. Um, an entire list. So my text goes out to 60 people. It's four cents a text to each person though. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So okay. you're talking, what, yeah. what is that? $2 and exactly $2 and 40 cents every time you send out a text to your group. Right. It's, it's nothing. And you, and you're using this to, to do not the direct sale, punch them in the face by this right now. Cause the sales only going on for another five minutes. You're right. doing it as a warm up 
to kind of get them into your your yes. sandbox and go, hey, look at all the other stuff that we have here. Yes, exactly. I think it's genius. I think this is just absolutely genius. And oh, kudos thanks, to you for taking this and putting it on steroids because I, I I don't know a lot of people that are doing this stuff. And you know, again, in the beginning when I talked about you talk about marketing, most business owners. I got, I got a real estate client. We don't even talk about texting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because honestly, I forgot about it. You know why? You think about jump back ten years ago when text marketing really became a thing. And all of these slimy, sleazy marketers just beat the hell out of it and abused it. And now you got laws on the books here in the U.S. where you got to do the double opt in or you got to reply yes to continue. You got to double opt. Yeah. And, and it's, that's why this stuff happens. But I, I think when you approach it as a gentle, not a, I'm going to punch you in the face every five minutes, yeah. when you're upfront and honest with them, you say, look, you're going to get a text every 21 days you opt in, here's what you're going to get. And if you fail, if you don't want these texts, you opt out. That tells me that you are not serious. Right. Exactly. You know, that, I, I would, now if it's just me, I would be that firm, but maybe you have a different kinder, gentler way of doing it. But, a little bit, but yeah, that's okay. Yeah, I like your way possibly. too. Yeah, sure. <laughs> but Jen, I, I think this is genius. Thank you. And, and I, I, I and just would, it's one of those things. I'd love to see more people do it. Yeah. But then again, I don't. <laughs> right, because then it might get oversaturated. <laughs> right, you know, right. Anybody else who's listening too is, um, if you have a mobile app that you use, we have a mobile app. I will also, I will use that when people, when I'm sending out content. If it's somebody that's, if it's a list that's new, I will also send out a link to my mobile app because I have a network tab on there that's basically you can come into my app and post your stuff, your links, your contact information, and anybody, any of my 5,000 followers that are using my stuff can go, oh, let's look at Jen's network. Oh, look at that. There's Tim. Oh, he's a marketing specialist, and he has a podcast. I might want to make contact with him because, you know, I'm really trying to spread the word. And they click on it, and they have instant access to the people that are on my fan wall. We just started that, too. And so if you have a mobile app and you're trying to broaden your network eventually down the road you can have people you, know, you have a vip booth on my app you know that's kind of where i want to go with it but you don't that have, way, yeah you don't have to have the app to make this no nope. no nope, okay. not even that's just another piece of it how you can continue to grow more people and then help your help your other people that are in your network get some foot traffic um so mm-hmm. you can really just i'm trying to blow it completely out you have, any, out you have any crazy success stories of your clients who have you know, gone down this path with you and implemented the stuff that you've told them to do. And so like, not oh, yet. Yeah. We're halfway there. You're yeah. Halfway not there. yet, okay. but we're halfway there. Yeah. Okay. I expect one of my clients is going to take it to the next level. She's in the process of building stuff up. She just started her YouTube channel. She's, she's just getting it and she has some interest. So, and she's getting ready to start her Facebook page also. So I imagine that within the next two or three months, yeah, I'll, I'll have a pretty cool story. So. But you've done this for yourself. And yeah. your results have just been exponentially crazy. Yes. I, mean, I would say that the, um, the $10,000 investment that I made with my mentor, I got an app out of it. I got landing pages. I mean, don't get me wrong. That $10,000 didn't just get me this textmagic.com. <laughs> sure. Sure. You know, I got a whole bunch of other things from it, but that twist of the text magic and being able to put that out there and automate stuff I don't have to interact as much, but as soon as I have somebody who's made it through all of the other things and they're really interested and they've sent that text, now I know they're serious and I'll dive in and I will start replying, responding and building and nurturing that relationship. And it just brings them in. I literally have so many of those clients that come in and they don't really leave only five out of the 300 have left. And that's, it's incredible to me because it's a softer approach. It doesn't feel like it's just sell, sell, sell. And so people are a little bit more responsive to it. And people respond to texts, you know, like we talked yeah. about, I mean, these people basically have their phones fused to their hands yeah. and, you know, when you send a text, I mean, it, 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 what the response time is within what, two minutes or something. That's, yeah. it's crazy. It's exactly. super high. It uh, is. It just makes a lot of sense. And if somebody wants, if somebody wants to implement this 21 day challenge for their clients, you know, let's say somebody, a business owner is watching and listening to this right now and they're thinking, yeah, I want to do this. The time, basically, you're going to spend most of the time on the front end building this up before yes. you launch it out. And once you launch it out, 
or you, it sounds like you're pretty much in maintenance mode. Yes, that's exactly what you're in. So it took me about four hours to create the videos. It took me about four hours. That was not very much time, in my opinion. I thought I can knock through that because the videos are anywhere from one to five minutes, and it depends on what the assignments are. So you go through. The first step that I took is I put 21 days in a table on Microsoft Word, and I began with the end in mind. My initial thing is that I want on the very last day, I want them to be able to have a plan that they can continue all of the progress that they've made on taking action for the next, you know, 60 days. So that after 90 days, they are really in the habit of doing these new things to scale their business or you know, get the results that they need on health and fitness or get the results they need in family, whatever it is. So I take days one all the way through 10 and really dive deep. Like I ask really tough questions that it just makes them have to think at a deeper level. And then by day 11, I'm asking them to do a little bit more things that will build up. Now that it was broken down, now we're going to build upon that. And how can you go forward? And then by the time they're on day 18, I'm letting them know, hey, I'm going to come on. We're going to do one big live Zoom. You can join. This is the time it's going to be. I'm going to go on and you guys can all join if you want to. And I'm going to teach you how to build a plan that you can continue progress. And then everybody comes to the call. I show them how to build the plan. And then what I do is I have them leave. And their very next assignment on day 19 is go build your own plan. And then on day 20, come on to, you know, the Facebook group and share it with everybody. Here's my overall plan on what I'm going to do. And here's my, and I ask them, find an accountability partner, somebody that you can maybe even within the group that can help you and make sure to keep you on track. And so by day 21, they're basically like, Hey, this is my plan. This is my accountability partner. This is exactly what I'm doing in life. Everything is great. Boom. And they share it. Then I ask them to share it on their personal page. And then from that, all of their contacts start saying, hey, Jen, who, uh, I'm with so-and-so, and I really want to be a part of the challenge. Can I get to the next challenge? Because I start it every month. There's a new one every month. Do you cap out the number of people that you have in, your, in each challenge each month? My cap is 75. Yes, I do. 75 people. 75. And one thing that I've learned is that I need to do a video. I'm going to do this in November. I need to do a video that explains, hey, whatever you do when you're doing your lives, keep it at two minutes or less. Because I have to go through and watch all those lives. To, you know, oh. I, I do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I watch right. it. And now I've also got um, two people on admin that can help watch those videos and kind of give me a tip. Hey, watch so-and-so's video. It's deep and you need to be involved. So then I can go in there and look. So when it gets more, it seemed like as soon as I hit 60, I really needed to have that additional, those additional eyes on it. More sure. than just myself. And I didn't expect it to grow that fast, but it did. And the first month I had 24 people. Now I have 64. So it just keeps amplifying. And then I also do the, Hey, if you, if you send three, yours is free type of thing. So that it can continue to grow. Now, is this a monthly charge or how how does this work? Yeah. People can get into this group for only seven bucks a month. It's only $7 to join Mm -hmm. because all of the things that I'm doing, it's a lead generation form. That's it. And it's going to help the people that need it and don't need additional help. But anybody else that might need help or might need me on a regular basis, I'm giving them, this is like my best of best of best for only seven bucks. And then if you need Mm -hmm. additional help, then we take it down the road. Then you do the one-on-one or the personal. Yeah. 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 You're a genius. (laughs) You're just a damn genius gump. I mean, this is incredible. Thanks, Tim. Incredible. Thank you, Tim. Um, Yeah. Yeah, you know, I was going to say, talk about the 21 day challenge. And then you talked about the, the, some people only like it, maybe get a text two days a week or something like that. Mm-hmm. It sounds like the more that we talk about this, the more, <laughs> the deeper we go on this, it sounds like the only way to really truly be effective is to do that 21 day thing. If you do the, the twice a week or three times a week, it's okay. Yeah. It's not the worse, but man, you really want to have impact that 21 yeah. day. And, and this is every day for 21 days, every day for 21 days. The only, and I do it literally, it starts on the first of every month. So by the 21st of every month, I'm not doing anything. It's that last, you know, eight or nine, 10 days that it's free and clear for me to like, think about, okay, how did it go? Do I need to modify anything? How can I make it better? How can I streamline it? And if I need to make any new videos to replace different videos, I do it. Or if I'm based on the research, market research of talking to people, if they want to hear about something different, I might put a different spin on the next month. So it gives me the time to strategize and then execute for the upcoming month to make it even better. Now, just to clarify, now, now do you do 21 new videos every month? No, you just no, do the, I, the one batch up front and then, I, yes, I do the one batch up front and then, then we execute the month. 
and based on feedback, because this is like, we're going into our third month of this. So it's kind of been beta this whole time. And as we go through it, if we realize, wait a minute, that video was kind of hard for people to understand. I might need to get a little bit more clear. Mm. I'll redo a video. So for the month of October, I redid three videos out of the, and that was it. I just redid three. And so next month, when I go into November, so far I haven't, I've only got one video that I identified that kind of made people a little confused. And so I need to get it in. It's ironically one of the same videos from before. I still didn't get it down deep enough. So I'm going to make it a little bit longer and make it more detailed for them. But so far it's only one video. So I went from having to replace three of them to now I'm going to do one. And then hopefully I'll have it kind of locked in. And I feel like, you know, that'll just be something that happens whenever I'm kicking off a new type of challenge. So I want to run this type of challenge where it's all areas of life. You just pick an area of life and we go with it. And then once I have that one locked down, I'm going to start a new 21 day challenge group on a different page about X, Y, or Z, whatever it might be. And I think it's going to be related to my real estate business because we have a legacy cash flow business where we teach people how to build wealth through rental properties like we Uh have. So we're probably going to do a 21 day challenge on that next, but I wanted to kind of beta in one group and just really focus on my energy and calories on This is the group I want to nail it on and then apply it to different groups. And so we're probably going to start the real estate one in November simultaneously with our other 21 day challenge. So we'll have two going at the same time, but um, yeah. And I'm just, I think that based on being able to automate it, it's, it's easier to swallow. I've had a lot of people tell me it's really hard to manage those groups. Yeah, it really is. And I think that down the line, if we have a high demand, but we're only able to have the bandwidth of this many people, mm-hmm. then we might even be able to increase. Okay, so it's not seven dollars; maybe it's ten bucks now, because it's harder for us to reach more people and go down that path. Yeah, and, and, and you'll so people, you'll you'll weed out the people that aren't one hundred percent in. Exactly, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, well, before we wrap up, and and this has just been mind blowing right here. <laughs> Tell folks, tell the the worldwide audience here where they can find out more about you. Let's do that first. Absolutely. So you can find me anywhere on Facebook. If you just uh, go to Jennifer Conkey, find me on Facebook and do a friend request. That's the best place to find me. Um, If you wanted to look at our YouTube channel, you can literally look in. It's um, Lead Hership Coaching. But you can Google Jen Conkey. It's J-E-N-C-O-N-K-E-Y. It'll pop up and you'll see the Leadership YouTube site. The best thing that you can do if you're interested in the challenge is text the word challenge to this number. Is it okay if I give the number to Of you? course. Okay, so text the word challenge to 619-373-8461, and it'll respond with a video. That way you can get kind of acquainted on what to expect. And then you can take place or be a part of the November 1st challenge that we're going to be doing on Facebook. And you actually send people right to a phone number as opposed to the 35826 or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. No, I send them right to my phone number. It's our business hotline number where we can text and respond. Um, it's us that's responding. Unless it's the first message that comes is an auto response and it, it sends it to our personal phone saying, hey, somebody's, somebody's texting you. And then we're able to go in there and go, Oh, okay. And then we can actually respond personally. So awesome. but the first response is an auto response and it triggers a message to me so that I can get in touch with the person. And the number again, I'll put it up on the screen, but 619-373-8461, 619-373-8461. That's the number. And uh, man, this has just been, you know, you get those, Mind blown. I'm thinking <laughs> I, I've got a speaking thing next Tuesday. I'm going, Oh man, maybe, maybe I should set that up for, for my, you should. Next Tuesday. I should. Yeah. Just start playing with it. That's the best yeah. thing to do is implement something new, play with it, see what works. You know, it could take off. Oh, uh, I love this. Jennifer, uh, if you do a podcast, please have me on. Oh, I do have a podcast and you're on it. You're going to be on it. I'm, I'm actually going to email you immediately. Oh, this I is love it. Good. I love it. Uh, 619-373-8461. See, can you tell us my, the radio has never left my blood? Because here I am. I love it. Over again. Uh, <laughs> 619-373-8461. Text the word challenge to that number and you will be in Jennifer's pipeline. And the, the program again is text magic and text magic.com. Okay. And four cents of text. Now you're not, you don't own them. You don't have a stake in them. That's just the platform. I, I you get use. nothing from them. Yeah. I get okay. nothing from them. In fact, it's the other way around. Yes. You give them, yeah. <laughs> uh, you give them the American money. 
Right. But there, you know, there are a lot of other uh, text programs out there that you can use, but you just prefer text magic. Is it the easiest that you've found? So far, it is the easiest that okay. I've found. Okay, excellent. And, and if, you know what? If you're not use, comfortable using text magic, maybe there's one that works for you. Jen mm -hmm. just prefers that one, and that's the one I'm going to check out as well. Jennifer, it has been a true honor and a privilege and a pleasure to spend some time with you today. Thank and you. I hope, uh, I hope your phone blows up. Oh, you know what? I had one other question. Sure. I had one other question. When you talked about sending people to a phone number, now, when you said that, here's the thing, here's the question that popped in my head. Did you buy a separate phone just for that number? Nope. Oh, you, it goes right to your main? It goes right to my personal phone every time. Phone. Okay. Because yep. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, man, if all of a sudden you get, you speak at something with like, you know, 5,000 people, all of a sudden you get 2,500 texts, that thing's going to, yeah. I mean, it is going to blow up. It's going to blow up. It will. It's on your personal phone as it, it looks like a shortcut to an app. So it's not like it goes straight to your text messages. It's an app that's on your phone, like a little square. Ah. If you do, if you get at one point in time, I think we had like a hundred and we're like, oh shit, it's really coming in. <laughs> <laughs> better, we better start responding or doing something. And you just click on it and then you could read through and figure out what, what's happening. And what happens is when they send it in with that word, it automatically adds them to a list that you pre-designed. So anytime you want to go back, they're already added to a list. It's not like you're sitting there adding people to the oh, list. Yeah. The word itself, because you've already defined it and set the boundaries and parameters and identified it as this is the list. So anybody that texts us in, put them in this list, and then I know where they came from. And it's easier to manage in your mind, too. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Really Jen cool. Conkey, Thank genius. you so much, Sam. Genius. Thanks for being here. We'll do this again. All right. Have a great day. Yeah. You I too. Thank, thank you. you. And uh, 619-373-8461. Text the word challenge to that number. 619-373-8461. And then you will be bombarded with stuff from Jen. And yes. Bombard. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Jen, have a great day. Thanks. You too. Bye-bye.